So you've started your WordPress website and your WooCommerce shop, but want a more unique design for it to design your product pages, collection pages, and more? Well, Elementor Pro is the one for you. And let me tell you why. Hi everyone, I'm Lydia and on this channel we talk about business growth, social media marketing and everything business related. So if you're interested, make sure to click the subscribe button below. Now, why would you choose to have a WordPress website and have a WooCommerce store or such a plugin for selling your products instead of maybe investing in a Shopify website? Or the business plan per month is much cheaper for a WordPress website. For example, with Bluehost, you can get hosting for only $3 per month or less and you get your domain for free in the first year. For SiteGround, for example, you get it for $6, but you have premium chat support and more. But for Shopify, the plan goes up to $30 per month. Now, I know for some of you it may be worth it, but for some that only maybe want to sell a few digital products or they also want to have a blog or they also want a platform to showcase their services, WordPress would be the way to go. And what other way to design a WooCommerce shop from scratch than to use Elementor, a premium page builder. Now, you can also use use the free Elementor version to edit any page in your site, but for WooCommerce stores you will need the Pro version. But let me tell you why you should invest that $50 in Elementor Pro instead of getting a theme and be able to design your entire theme rather than purchasing a premium theme for $200 or more. Because with Elementor, with the Hello Elementor theme that they have, you can also use the theme builder and edit your header, your footer, and literally all your themes that is unique to you and your brand. But we're going to talk more about that in a future video. For this video, we're going to stick on how to design your WooCommerce store with Elementor. So what do you need to design when designing your WooCommerce store? You will need to design pages such as your shop archive, so basically the place where all your products are. Then you will need to design your categories pages if that's something you want. Have a special page for each category of products if you have multiple. And you can also edit your cart and checkout pages. Now let's take them one by one. For designing such a shop with Elementor, you will need a free theme. You can use the WordPress 2020 theme or one of the free ones that you have available. So you will not need to invest in a theme. But if you want a premium website look, you can either go with Elementor, the Hello Elementor theme and build your own theme or purchase a theme that gives you that look and then customize your WooCommerce store with Elementor. Now, if you don't have any product added in your shop, I suggest doing that before designing your shop so you can kind of see the look, the colors of the buttons, everything, how it will look when your shop will be active. So go to products, add new product and add at least three products for example. Add a featured image for each of them, the price, a little description and a title obviously. Then to be able to edit the actual shop pages and car page and everything else you will need to create them from pages in your WordPress website if they are not created already. So you'll need to create one for shop, card, checkout, privacy policy, my account, and any other collection pages that you want to create if you want that. Next, you will need to go to WooCommerce, Settings, Advanced, and for the pages, for example, Shop page, you will select the exact page that you want the shop to have. Then you will need to add for the cart, my account, and checkout. So those are gonna be your basic pages. So when somebody adds a product to cart, that's the page they will lead them to, to see their cart. Now that you've established which page is which, you need to go back to your pages and click Edit Page. So let's edit the shop page first. For the shop page, click Edit, and then you will see edit with Elementor at the top. Make sure you have the Elementor Pro plugin installed and activated. So for that, you can use the link in the description to purchase the Elementor license. Then you can go to download your zip folder, go to plugins, upload plugin, activate it, and then click review and connect. So basically connect your Elementor account so they can check that it is you who purchased the license. So once that happens, you will also see the WooCommerce tools in Elementor. Now, when you edit any page, the first thing you want to do is go to settings and go to page layout and select your layout. Usually for these types of pages, I don't want the title showing, I just want to edit it myself, but have the menu of the website visible. So this is why I choose the Elementor full width option for my pages. Then you can go ahead and click update. Now it all depends on how you want your WooCommerce store to look like. For mine, I just chose a banner for each category, each section, and then I chose a few upsells for my cart page. So product recommendations that will also show up in 
people add something to cart but you can make it look as an entire shop as an entire website and for that you can choose the heading options the slider you can choose to have your categories displayed at the top of the shop you can add more text about your products more images and text you can even add products in the general shop page so people can shop by section you can have your instagram feed client testimonials or reviews you can have tabs in which people find out more about your products you can either compare two items in your product page or more you have many options by installing the plugin that is called elementor add-ons so make sure to install that and activate it so you can also have these options for your woocommerce shop you have multiple displays of products so make sure to check them out all one by one and see which one is your favorite so here is how i would design my shop if i would design it a little bit more in depth so you can add a slider again more information about your products then display your products or products collections and add more information about each so you can convince your viewers to become buyers now for the collection pages you can do the exact same thing you can create as many pages as you want and just display products on it by choosing the products option you can do that for any product page and just any page in general you can even have products displayed in your blog posts with elementor pro and by using this option for woocommerce plugin so that's gonna be just really easy for your clients to purchase your product and yes you can also display a single product now for the product pages unique product pages there are some settings that you can do that may only be available in your customized so the themes general settings you can also use custom codes to design the look of your button the add to cart button and more but for the general product page you can create a product page that has all the information about your product as I did for my Pinterest workbook for example and another really great tool to use are the buttons so you can choose add to cart buttons as often as you want just making it easier for people to just add to cart when they've decided they want to purchase your product now for the cart page and checkout page again just go to edit the pages and you can add extra elements such as product recommendations your Instagram feed you can add anything for your pages with Elementor now again some settings may be only available to your theme but with the Elementor theme builder you'll be able to design a lot more than that but for any other elements that you want to add to your cart page or your checkout page you can use Elementor Pro so there you go take a look at how I designed my shop page and how I designed my product page for my product to give a little bit more information and to convince the viewer to buy my product so with Elementor Pro you can fully design your WooCommerce store making it go from that boring store that only shows your products to something a little bit more that maybe even has a sidebar that shows people more products recommendations and just generally gives out more information to the buyer you can do this in your own branding colors style you can add your own photography and a lot more so this is why I really recommend Elementor Pro for designing your entire WordPress website or your WooCommerce store only if you want to check it out a link is in the description and you can see all the plans that they have available for one website or if you're working with multiple clients you can get the expert license for more than one website I hope this video was helpful and you got a general view on how to create a WooCommerce store and optimize it and customize it to your own liking with Elementor if you've enjoyed this video don't forget to leave it a like and subscribe for more weekly videos on growing your online business and making more money online follow me on Instagram at leader.incomingsuccess and make sure to contact me if you have any questions or leave them in the comments below my website design services are also linked in the description so if you need help with your website design even designing a full theme with the theme builder in Elementor I can help with that so make sure to contact me using the form in the link below thank you so much for being here and I will see you in my next video